Y'all happy? Just a second. I'm gonna oh. make sure it's okay to sell those boots. Oh, okay. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Round the patio, thank you very much. <laughs> well, thank you. I said, Lord have mercy. Uh, now, I never was that size of the 16s, but mm -hmm. I had a niece and uh, she gave them to me. So oh, said, yes. Okay, I'll put them in the rummy shell. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's pretty. Mm -hmm. How much are the clothes? Uh, it's uh, three dollars. Three dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. I'm gonna get that one underneath. He had many people yet. Well, we've had pretty good class so far. Well, that's good. Uh -huh. She looks that thing for 30 minutes before she's on her phone. The birds keep you company around. They do, aren't they nice? <laughs> Lovely. How much is your tripod right here? Uh, Four dollars. Four dollars, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> you can, you can hear him coming. A dollar. Okay, cool. I'm gonna get. I have three pieces of clothing. I'm gonna get the tripod and this. Okay, so, let's see. You want these three? I think so, yes. Okay, that's three, six, nine. Okay, so ten. ten. And what else did you want? Uh, the tripod there. Okay, okay fourteen. Fourteen, mm -hmm. all right. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. oh, thank you. There you go. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. you. Would you like your hangers back? Okay. Uh, do you want. Um, maybe put these in bags. Or I think it's okay. I'll just pop them in the car. Oh, Thank you, okay. though. Well, you're welcome, honey. Thank you. Absolutely. Good luck with the sale. <laughs> Hopefully, you'll be nice Thank and you. busy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay.
There we go. Have a nice day. You too, Manny. I think I've fallen you. I think so. We should Is be shopping together. I don't know. I feel like I saw one somewhere, but I haven't found it again yet. So, hi, how are you? Doing good, thank you. How much are your shoes? Um, they all vary. Okay, how about the sneakers? The sneakers, um, $5. Okay. the boots? Um, 15. 15. These are pretty. do 20 for these would you i got the shoes the boots a hat and a bathing suit um 25 25 okay how about if the hat goes back how much would that be uh, i'll do actually i'll do 22 for all of them with the hat as well yeah okay sure thank you Give me just a second. I'm gonna oh. make sure it's okay to sell those boots. Oh, okay. Um, I'm pretty sure, but I need to just double check real quick. Okay. Okay, we're good. Okay, awesome. Thank you. How are you all today? Good. Do you happen good. to have a couple of questions? Yes, thank me you. Grab all right, I appreciate it. So, thank you for grabbing this one too. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I appreciate it. You have a yeah, nice day. You as well. <laughs> How much is shirt right here? All right, you guys. Well, welcome to the haul where I show you what I picked up at today's yard sale. So let's start over here. This was actually my first yard sale of the day, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, and you know, it was okay. And I don't believe they had it on a Friday, so this was kind of like the the fresh stuff, if you like. Nobody had picked through it yet. Um, there wasn't a whole ton of stuff, but uh, just enough to get something to turn for profit. So. Uh, first thing I grabbed was this tripod. It does need cleaning up, but this is all just like sticker residue. So that's going to come off and it's going to clean up really nicely. No like big scrapes or scratches or anything like that. Um, and the brand is Ambico. This is obviously like a tripod for a camera. Um, I did look up comps while I was there and they seem to be doing okay. I think I paid $4 for this, which is not too bad. And I think I can flip it for around 25 to 30. This was kind of an impulse buy. It just, I, it reminded me of something. I've seen these before and I can't quite remember where. Definitely kind of like 80s, 90s, I think. At least that's what it's kind of bringing about for me. So it's God could not be everywhere. So she made mothers. Um, and the reason I grabbed it is, first of all, it is a ceramic tile, but it also is signed on the back as well. So I need to do some research, I think, on this particular artist and see if I can figure out what the heck it is. But I, th I don't know if my mom had something like this when I was little. I, don't, I can't remember, but it just has a lot of nostalgia for me. 
and it does ring a bell so I decided to investigate and I think I paid like a buck or so for this. I, I got a couple of pieces of clothing there. Uh, Lauren Ralph Lauren, I barely ever picked this up but it's a 2X and it's not just a striped shirt although there's sort of nautical striped pieces, very classic, do well for me especially in those plus sizes like 2X but it also has a peplum hem down here as well. Very much a bread and butter piece. I think I paid three dollars which is more than I usually would but I still think I can get about 25 for it. And then I grabbed two outfits. They're both very, very similar and they are both vintage pieces. This is just a bit of fluff. There's no stains, so in great condition. Um, and do, they both came with a belt as well. So they have this kind of amazing pleated, kind of, again, kind of like peplum hem um, faux wrap. And then it goes down to this kind of like midi length dress. And then there was this one as well, which again, almost has kind of like a nautical look to it, in my opinion, but very, very classic. And I think because they're complete outfits and they just have a very, very specific style, they kind of remind me of like, 60s outfits and things like that that I think that these will do quite nicely again three dollars a piece <clears throat> all right this particular yard sale I just couldn't find anything to buy <laughs> I really couldn't and I'd been to one next door and I couldn't find anything there either uh, but I did stumble upon this for two dollars so the only reason I grabbed these is because they are very very high rise they are a women's six I believe so very high rise they've got that going for them and they have this huge um, emblem on the back here um kind of like a spell out just you know I can so I paid $2 for these. I think I can easily flip them for around 20 all right, and the final yard sale, some great finds and then one heartbreaking fail. Oh, well, this was interesting as well, because if you caught it in the video, I tried to bundle some items. We kind of went back and forth negotiating. And then when I went to pay her, she said she had to run inside to make sure she could actually sell these. So it was like two o'clock in the afternoon, I think, at this point. So uh, I'm not sure why they had sat there all day if she wasn't sure she could sell them. That's fine. It only took a few minutes. Um, but I definitely was like, oh, OK. <laughs> yard sales can be a little quirky sometimes. Um, Okay, so grabbed a Columbia PFG uh, strap back hat. It's in really nice shape, hopefully like 15. I grabbed these. Um, So they are in nice shape, but they do need a little bit of a cleanup. The treads are actually really nice, but I think I need to take a magic eraser down here just to try and like bring some things uh, back to vibrancy, if you like. But overall, good condition. No like major stains or scuffs or anything. They're New Balance 574s. And um, I can't find any in this particular colorway. They are a women's. I paid $5 for them, but I think I can get around sort of 30 to 35 at least for these. This was one of my favorite finds of the day, actually. It is a really cool vintage swimsuit made in the USA. I think it's Maxine's of Hollywood, which I've sold multiple times. It has this great button down detail, super loud print. And then it obviously has kind of like the more modest kind of boy short cut to it. And it has a beautiful open back as well. I sell these kind of uh, vintage bathing suits all day long for around 30 to 35 and I think I only paid about a dollar for this piece, but I may even list it a little bit higher just because this print is really unique. All right, and then on to my super fail. So I picked up a pair of Sorel boots, which in and of themselves are awesome. Sorel boots are great. These aren't the best style out there, but, you know, not too bad. I actually ended up paying $15 for these, uh, give or take, you know, after the bundle, which is a lot. That's paying up. But I figured I would be able to flip them for around 45 to 50 so I took a chance. What I did not realize is when you unzip them here, they are beaten all to heck. Like, look at all this peeling on the leather tuck like oh my goodness me um so with this amount of damage i've gone back and forth i don't know if i'm gonna list them for like 15 and just try and make my money back or if that is just a waste of time at this point there are women's nine in case you're wondering honestly i think with this kind of damage even with them zipped up it's all around here i think i'm just gonna have to redonate these you guys so that is just a 15 dollar fail right there it happens sometimes at yard sales but it's still disappointing all right you guys thank you for coming along with me to today's yard sales as usual if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new here and you enjoy thrifting and yard sales and flipping stuff online for a profit then don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you can come back and yard sell with me some more as always if you're interested in a friendly facebook group to ask your reseller questions you can check out mine link down below in the description called thrift nice and as always you'll find my teespring store link down there as well with fun reseller and thrifting themed merchandise all right you guys i will catch you in the next one bye